Hey everyone, and welcome back to What Did I Miss, where today I thought I would round up some recent news about the series Star Trek Picard, and end the video with some news about the filming of Strange New World. What is interesting about this news about Picard is that it comes to us from leaked photos of the cast shooting in and around Los Angeles, California, as well as some details from a rather talkative guest star. If this is your first time here, my name is Eric, and I cover a lot of sci-fi series like Star Trek on this channel. And I also have another channel named WDIM Plus, in which I talk about pretty much everything else. So please subscribe if you have not, and think about checking out my other channel as well. While we may not get to see the first episode of the second season of Star Trek Picard until 2022, it seems that of all the series in production, we are getting the most details about the upcoming season, not just from the teaser released earlier this year, but from various other sources. By the way, if you have not seen it yet, I did do a video about every Easter egg and reference in the Picard teaser, and I will link it here. But besides the teaser, there have been at least three batches of leaked photos from the filming of the series, that give us some big clues as to the upcoming plotline. Now, if you're wondering why we are getting leaked pictures from Picard and not the other two series currently filming, Discovery and Strange New Worlds, it is because Picard films in Los Angeles and the other two series film in Toronto, mostly on a soundstage. It appears that Star Trek Picard will be taking its crew to another time period, so they are filming outdoors in LA, and since a lot of shows film in the city, there are always people out there looking for filming crews. Now, I wouldn't necessarily call any of these pictures spoilers by themselves, but if you really don't want to know anything about the forthcoming seasons of Picard, then look away now. But if that's true, I don't know why you clicked on this video. The first set of pictures came out a few weeks ago, and it looks like Picard filming with actor Alex Deal, who is once again playing an A500 type synth. If you recall, these were the androids that were responsible for the attack on Mars. Nope, not that one that one. And since all these types of androids were said to have been destroyed after this attack, it would only make sense that this conversation is not taking place in the present and current timeline of Picard. Also, Picard's outfit looks a bit like something he would not usually wear, and perhaps this is a hint that he will be portraying someone that's not himself. Picard famously lost himself in his performance in the first season when he was posing as a ruthless aristocrat, so he may get a repeat performance or maybe something a bit more his speed. The flags in the scene also look almost Klingon, or perhaps like something from the Mirror Universe. The next set of photos come from Trek Culture and show Seven of Nine and Rafi on a city bus. I did put out a video last week in which I go into some theories about what I think is going on here, and I will link that if you'd like to watch it after this, but just at first glance you can see that Seven does not have any implants on her face. It could mean that she somehow had them removed medically, but I believe that this is a sign that her, Rafi, and perhaps Picard as well were sent back in time by an entity. I say that because in the past, whenever we have seen time travel in Star Trek through pseudoscientific means, the crew looks the same as they did before they left. But when an entity like Q or the Guardian of Forever sends someone back or forward in time, they also have the ability to change their appearance and distort how others see them in the timeline. Finally, we have the photos that were released last week by the British press, and these show Picard with actress Orla Brady. If she looks familiar, it's because she played Laris, the Romulan housekeeper slash former operative that we couldn't get enough of. You can see very cleanly from the pictures that she does not look like a Romulan, and both her and Picard look like they're wearing clothing that is meant for our time period and not 100s of years in the future. I think this once again proves, like the previous set of pictures, that time travel will be involved and that it will not only include most of the cast of Picard, but also their appearance will be altered to look like and pass for a 22nd century human. I think these are really interesting, but let me know what your theories are in the comments, and if I see a good one, I'll bring it up in a future Star Trek video. Speaking of which, congrats once again to our contest winners for this month. I will be announcing a new contest soon, but this next one will be on the other channel, WDIM+, so make sure you are subscribed to that channel as well. Now onto the leaked details from a cast member that I promised you, and those come from, I guess the person you would expect given his character, and that is John Delancey who will be reprising his role as Q on the series. Mr. Delancey is understandably excited for his return to live action after returning to Star Trek in animated form last year on Star Trek Lower Decks, but most recently, he has been giving away details about his role in interviews as well as on Cameo videos. In case you are not aware, there is a site named Cameo that lets you purchase personal messages from actors and musicians and other celebrities, and Mr. Delancey seems to be a popular selection. In recent weeks, he has said that his character will be appearing on not just the second season of Picard, but the third as well. This confirms a long-standing rumor that the show is filming two seasons back-to-back, -back, and it is believed that the story will be concluded by the end of the third season. He stated that he will appear in six total episodes over those seasons, and with both seasons being ten episodes, that puts him in a bit more than a quarter of all the episodes. But he did not say how many episodes he would appear in each season. He has also made some statements that make it seem like instead of humanity being on trial, that it is not Picard specifically that he is interested in. With him stating in one message, it is a very different cue this time. They wanted to go with not kidding around as much. We will see if the audience enjoys it. I think they will. 
He also confirmed that he will have scenes with Guinan, played by Whoopi Goldberg, whose appearance in the series was teased when Sir Patrick Stewart went on The View and asked Miss Goldberg to return. I think that now that we know that Q will be involved in both seasons, it is safe to say that he is responsible for the cast being in another time period, and it was either he or something like the Guardian of Forever that sent the cast there. Since Q is going to be such a part of the future of Picard, I put together a video of the history of all the appearances by all the Q and their history, and I will link it if you want to watch it. I highly recommend watching it before the next season, because with all these former crew members involved, I'm sure they will also be referencing past events that happened to Q and Picard. Two former crew members, however, have confirmed that they will not be in at least the second season of Star Trek Picard, and those are LeVar Burton and Gates McFadden. Recently, Mr. Burton was asked by Guinan herself, Whoopi Goldberg, on The View about his inclusion, and he said point blank, I can say unequivocally that I am not doing season two of Picard. This is a bummer since last year in an interview with E.T., he did make it seem like he was returning, so hopefully he will be back in the third season, or at least show up again on another series. Gates McFadden, who played the dancing doctor Beverly Crusher on The Next Generation, was also asked in a podcast interview on Trek Movie about the possibility of her reprising her role on the series. She said the following, I'm not in the second season, I'm sad that I'm not. Things have changed a lot on different levels, so I have no idea at this point. I'm disappointed because it would have been so much fun to just work with those people, but we'll see. I have no idea. I wish I could tell you. It's rather interesting that we never really hear Dr. Crusher's name come up with these upcoming storylines, since she and her son Wesley were pretty important to Picard's character on The Next Generation. Will Wheaton is obviously still involved with Star Trek, as he is the host of like every Star Trek panel they hold. It would be very cool to see both of them come back, or at least see where both are at now. But let me know in the comments, do you want to see the Crushers again? If nothing else, it would be awesome to hear Picard say shut up Wesley to a grown man. Finally, just some quick news about the filming of Strange New World, which is also set to debut in 2022. The news is that about five episodes have completed filming, and even with the enhanced COVID protocols and a close call with a guest star, the filming has been proceeding well. Anson Mount is promoting a new movie called The Virtuoso, and was asked about how things are going on the new set. He said the following, COVID protocol makes everything take longer, but you get through it, and it's weird trying to get to know my cast only on set. However, despite everything, it's been one of the smoothest starts I think I've ever had in television. Mount has also praised the episodic nature of Strange New Worlds compared to the series that his character is coming from, so fans of this style of Star Trek should be happy with the upcoming series. I hope that you are happy and enjoyed this video, and if you did, please think about hitting that like button and subscribing as well. Right now, only about 4% of my views come from subscribers, and if I can get that close to 20 or 30%, I may be able to quit my 9 to 5. So if you do want to be kept up to date with weekly Star Trek updates and other fun videos and things you may have missed, hit that subscribe button. Thank you for clicking on this video, and I will see you next time on What Did I Miss?